We will now continue to discuss calculating the median value given group data set. In our previous video lecture, we calculate the median value given any group data. This time, we will calculate median value given a group data set. Okay? Recall that this is our data set when we discuss about the calculation of mean value given group data. Okay? Recall that this is our formula in calculating the median value given group data. When we talk about median class, that is the class interval where the median value is located. Okay, to determine the class interval, we have to we have to solve for its cumulative frequency, the less than cumulative frequency. Okay, uh, we use the less than cumulative frequency since Our data set is increasing. If it happens that the data set is decreasing, we have to use a greater than cumulative frequency. Okay, for in this in this case, we have here three, eight, eighteen, and twenty. So our n basically is twenty. We have here n equals to 20. Locate the middle value of the middle value of our data set. So since we have 20 observations, um, to look for the middle value, we simply divide n by 2. Okay, since n is 20, we divide it with 2. So we have 10 meaning the tenth is the median value. So where can we find the median value? Okay, so look at our cumulative frequency. It says that there are three observations with scores 5 and below, and there are eight observations with scores 10 and below. So meaning there are eight students here who have scores 10 and below. So the 10th student will be somewhere here. This will now be, this, this class interval, interval is now our median class. So we will write it here. Okay. So according to the formula, median is equal to the lower class boundary of the median class. So we have to... Look for the lower class boundary of 11. So we will try to adjust. Okay, so we are just looking for the lower class boundary of the median class, which is this. The class limit is this. So we are going to determine the class boundary of this lower limit. So that is 11, 11 minus 0.5, so we have 10.5. So if we solve for its class boundaries, we have 10.5 to 15.5, but we are just we're just interested with lower class boundary, okay? So this one, this big F is the less than cumulative frequency, one step lower of your median class. So one step, if this is the median class, one step lower is this. And this is now our big F. Okay? 
then we know that our frequency here that frequency is the frequency of the medium glass which is 10 okay class size is simply the the class size of the interval okay the difference between the two consecutive lower limits or the two consecutive upper limits we will now we will now solve the median value using the formula So we have the formula median median is equal to the lower class boundary of the median class plus the class size times n over 2 minus the big F the less than cumulative frequency one step lower of your median class divided by the frequency of your median class okay so let us recall our tr lower class boundary which is 10.5 okay our class size is the difference between the two successive lower limits or the two successive upper limits so if we have one to six the difference is five and try to counter check it with the upper limits 5 to 10 difference is 5 so we have it here 5 okay so we divide it with 20 divide by 2 minus the big F your big F is 8 And your small f, which is the frequency, we have 10. Do not ever add this 2 before multiplying it with this. You have to do this calculation first, then multiply it with 5. And the last thing that you do is you're going to add the product of these two with this. You can solve it in your scratch paper. Solve this one first. 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10, minus 8, equals to 2, divided by 10 equals to point 0.2 times 5 equals to 1 plus 10.5 so that is 11.5 okay so your median value is 11.5 we can also check that one whether the value is within the interval of your median class if not then there is something wrong with the solution okay so 11.5 is within the range then 11 to 15 therefore the median value is really 11.5 Okay, to interpret your value, you would say 50% of the students have scores below 11.5 or 50% of the students have scores above 